The Elder Sigil shall never work for you, boy. Only a privileged few have unconstrained authority to traverse this realm, and you are not among them, I'm afraid. I must get back to work. Looks like Meg's the featured servant of the house. Thank, Thank you. You would be wise to heed my words next time and fear the consequences of eluding me. Death can be most unpleasant, as I'm sure you know. Well, that's just it, Master Thanatos. I never was terribly fearful of you gods, if you'll forgive my saying so. As far as I can tell, all of you seem to have your struggles much like mortals do. A fear of death aside. What would you know of the struggles of gods? Now you have eternity to think on what you've done. Maybe I'll check again with you after another eon or two. See if you've learned anything more. See you then. Good morning, or whenever. Hello, sir. Prince Ed, just missed your stern-faced colleague. Feel that stillness hanging in the air? Sounds like he won't be checking up on me again anytime soon. Thanatos really isn't such a bad sort once you get to know him, sir. Though I suppose you'll have to take my word for that. Oh, I believe it, Highness. I should think that bringing death must be a lonely job. Perhaps you ought to try pushing a boulder sometime. You got it. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Baldy. Thank you for brightening my day or night. Enlightening. Baldy appreciated that. Than. Something's been troubling me still with what you said about how mortals look at death. If most of them believe their life is all they have, how do they live? I mean, I can't even imagine what that's like. I'd be a lot more careful at the very least. They live with all their hearts, or at least try. I think there's something to it, truthfully. Though some of them, they fall apart. They get here without me, on their own, gripped with despair. If only they knew what your father always says about all this. What, you mean that there is no escape? From what? The mortals are up there, not here. Not while they're technically alive in their sense, anyway. I mean you can't escape your problems, Zagreus. You can run from your family, but you can't run from everything. You have no choice but to confront it and work through it, sooner or later, one way or another. You and all of us. I'm starting to notice that, yes. Though, to a mortal who has yet to die, don't they think of death as some sort of release? You come to end their misery, something like that? I can release them from their decaying bodies. Sometimes the fates demand I bring them in sooner. That's about as much as I can do. Some of them get it early on, how to live. It's quite impressive, really, that they learn so quick. It really is. Now, here you go, Servi, and, um, don't eat me, please. Baldy, look who. Hey, sir. Hey, Prince. Uh, so, you do know Baldy's just a plain old rock with a few lines chiseled into him resembling a face, don't you? Uh, chiseled into it, I mean. Just so you don't get the wrong idea. Come now, sir. We both know full well Baldy's much more than that. You really think I doubt the power of Baldy after everything we've been through? <laughs> no, it was just a jest there at Baldy's expense. Look at him. He gets so annoyed when I call him a plain old rock like that. But then he calls me an old lazy lump, and then we're even for a while. Makes sense to me. Thank you, mate. Boldy, and we get the feeling that we've had this conversation in the past. Thanks. See that, Boldy? So long. Do say you there? Check out right here. Please send the goddess Nyx my warm regards, won't you, my kin? 
Would that the others on Olympus knew and understood your kind as I now do. Achilles tells me that you're here to stay. At least for now, stranger. A welcome bit of news. Assuming, of course, that it's for the best for you. I think so, sir. I'll still be passing through and visiting the surface every opportunity I get. But it seems my place really is here. Besides, it means getting to see you every now and then, like this. That sounds agreeable to me. Then, you take care. That blasted yarn of Ariadne once again! Have you no shred of dignity at all, monster? Or would you stoop to any desperate means to draw me out? Just happened to have it on me, Theseus. But it seems to keep upsetting you. Maybe you should seek this Ariadne in my father's realm and make amends. Maybe you should shut up! That Ariadne's dead to me. She has been since we were alive. I cherish her memory, yes, but only because if not for her, I'd not have met Asterius. Now meet his axe! Um, Nyx, I... Ares sends you his regards again. Wanted to let you know. Thank you, my child. We may seldom have occasion to encounter one another, he and I. But it is good to have another friend upon Olympus. Even if goddess Athena and he are not on the best of terms. It's complicated over there, I guess. Here you go. These ought to add a little sparkle each time I revive from the pool of sticks. Such an ignoble way to step into this house needs no equivalent. I think it speaks to how our pride can be our downfall. And have I mentioned that it costs a lot of coin? It looks distinctly different from this angle. I know, right? Exquisite use of form. That is an excellent interpretation, boyo. I think it represents the plight of mortal life. It weighs an awful lot, too. The raw emotion there is rather striking, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. Wonderful use of color. You got taste, pal. I will give you that. The sense of poise is truly extraordinary. You said it, boyo. Truly the work of a great master. Only the best for you, pal. There's so much tension in the shape of it. You earned it, pal. Beautiful craftwork, I must say. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's like a new experience every time I look. Isn't she beautiful? Breathtaking detail in the ribcage area. Isn't it, though? How did they get the finger bones to look so real? I know what you mean, pal. The use of light and shadow is exceptional. I see exactly what you mean. The subtlety of the expression is a fascinating touch. I knew you would appreciate that aspect. I practically can feel the anguish in this piece. She's definitely pretty good. Such meticulous craft. Can't get over how tall they are. I think it signifies the duality in all of us. I was just thinking the same. Didn't catch the name of the artist. I can't get over it myself. Beautiful craft work, I must say. I'll say. I think it represents the plight of mortal life. That is one keen eye. <laughs>